Welcome to Diggity, a video game podcast, episode number 211. I'm Jeff James, as always with me, the incredible, unobtainable, luscious Brody Faults. How are you, my friend? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. How about yeah. you? I'm doing good too, man. I'm 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 yeah. pretty uh I'm pretty stuck for a long weekend. I I've gotta I gotta say. I mean yeah, uh, I'm I'm really stoked because I don't come back until the ninth. Oh, that's right, you little shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> you did you do get off with that, don't you? That's ridiculous. That sucks. Yep. Wow. Yep. Maximize my my vacation time and uh, take it around a holiday. It's perfect. Wow! 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 wow come wow. back the tenth and then uh, summer game show on the or come back the ninth. Summer game uh, summer best. game show on, on best on the tenth and E three the following week. Good. Holy cow! Yeah. No. I mean it's. Uh... It's going to be a hellish week ahead of us. But uh, anyways, guys, if this is the first time you're listening to us, uh, you can catch us live every single Thursday around 9.30 Eastern Time PM, that is, on YouTube and also on Twitch. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Diggity Podcast. And you can subscribe to our podcast on every single podcast platform out there, I think, known to man. Ooh, look at that. Pretty sure on everything. Also, might I add, this week, somehow... But the grace of God, I've been able to add awesome stuff like, I don't know, different outlays, different different things that <laughs> pop up. It's kind of nice. I'm excited for it. So, you know. Yeah. It's good. We're Looking doing... official and shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, beyond all that, guys. Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Did you hear that? Kind of. God. What was that? It was an air horn button. I just did it as a joke. But I didn't think it would work. I didn't think it would work. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Yeah, I've got that and I've got this sweet Illuminati one. God. Uh, anyways, guys, before we jump onto the news uh, and this week in gaming, uh, Brody, do you want to uh, discuss what you've been playing, my friend? Yes, yes. I have been playing a lot of Monster Hunter Rise still. I'm still absolutely hooked. I did take a little bit of a break and play some Near Replicant the other day and still really enjoying that. And I think I think for that for me personally, that game is enjoyed in in like decent chunks, but like take a little bit of a break in between because it, it could be a slog if you just powered all the way through it. So uh, this is working pretty well for me and I'm I don't hate it every time I come back and uh I'm I'm enjoying it. It's, how about you? Um, I just played Overwatch this week. <laughs> it's just been, <laughs> it's just been a whole, you know, crazy week. I'm trying to wrap up stuff with work, right? And before getting the long weekend, and it just gets nuts. And so, been played a little bit of Overwatch. I guess I played some Hearthstone on my iPad, but that's not really, really gaming. Well, I guess it is. I don't want to insult anybody. I yeah, don't I was going to say, some people are going to be real pissed off about that statement. Yeah, it's all right. They'll follow me. It's okay. Yeah. Someone will DM it or something, or somebody will say something terrible like five years down the road when we're mildly popular. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. It's okay. Right, There's right. crazy people out there. But uh, anyways, do you want to hit us with the upcoming game releases, my friend, before we jump on into the news? Yes, sir. So May 28th, Beautiful Desolation is coming to PS4 and Switch. Roots of Paka is coming to PC. Song of Horror Complete Edition is coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, Wonder Boy Asha in Monster World is coming to PS4 and Switch. World in or World's End Club is coming to Switch. On June 1st, the Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood DLC releases on PC and Stadia. Operation Tango releases on PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, and Xbox One. Stonefly uh, is coming to PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Super Animal Royale is coming to Xbox One, and World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic is coming to PC. On June 2nd, Hoko Life is coming to PC. And on June 3rd, Pro Cycling Manager 2021 is coming to PC. Tour de France 2021 is coming to PC. PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, and Xbox One. And Winds of Change is coming to Switch. Dope, man. Dope. <sighs> so, nothing in this list for me, personally. 
Um, but Biomutant released this week, and I didn't pick it up because reviews were middling. And that disappoints me because that game looks fantastic. I'll wait for it to go on sale, and then I'll pick it up. But I'm going to wait for now and just keep grinding away at Monster Hunter. Um, <laughs> I know there's a decent amount of hype around World World's End Club, but other than that, this list is not for me. Um, Pro Cycling Manager 2021, man, that that's got to be man, exciting. Tell you what. Half chub, dude, just looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say that on YouTube? I don't know. As I say it, it as I say it, it goes through the social scroll in the bottom left, like follow us on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> follow us on Twitter. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oh, my God. Well, yeah. anyways, moving on to the news, guys. Uh, we've got your PlayStation Plus games for June. So if you want to take an old sweet look at this sweet, awesome transition, it's pretty Ooh. awesome what you get. Um, you're going to be getting Operation Tango uh, for PS5. You're going to be getting uh, Star Wars Squadrons on PS4 um, and uh, Virtual Fighter 5 for PS4 as well. So Operation Tango, uh, Star Wars Squadrons is available from June 1st, 2021 uh, until... Good Lord, is that is that legit? Is that legit until July 5th? It's just a weird date, isn't it? Yeah. Well, weird. they usually don't. Yeah, sometimes they don't start until like June fifth. The okay, PlayStation weird. one. They're not always right at the beginning of the year okay. or the month. So when it starts uh, June first, uh, ends July fifth. Crazy to think that we're going into June and July. I mean, that's that's wild to me. Uh, and then Virtual yeah. Fighter Five is available from June first, twenty twenty one, until August second. Um, you have to have an active PlayStation Plus membership, obviously, for this. But uh, free stuff, my dudes. Free yeah. stuff. You cannot go wrong i do want to try that star wars squadrons that's one i i still haven't gotten around to trying yet so i'd really like to try it in vr Just yeah saying. i feel like i throw That'd up cool. probably <laughs> <laughs> probably uh so the xbox games with gold for june these are also free um not quite the same quality though. Uh, the King's Bird available from June first to the thirtieth. Shadows Awakening, which is actually pretty cool, uh, will be available from June sixteenth to July fifteenth. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum is going to be available from June first to the fifteenth. And just Injustice: Gods Among Us will be available June sixteenth through the thirtieth. So, what do you think about this lineup? Uh, so Shadows Awakening is actually pretty cool, and Injustice Gods Among Us is actually pretty cool too, but that's also a 360 game, and there's a a second one that's been out for a while now. Uh, I've never even heard of The King's Bird, and I don't care about Neo Geo. <laughs> He's a huge Xbox fan. <laughs> I just... Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think their games with gold have been pretty bad for a while i mean the the best one we've got was gears 5 a couple months ago and that was that was really about it um pretty i, pretty I mean cool. you know they got game pass so it's like they kind of compete against right. themselves right like i mean yeah they can't be putting the best stuff out there but and they kind of shot themselves in the foot here you think they ever get rid of this or do you think that they can find enough games like this not not to demean these games but just like you no know. yeah um I don't know. I, I I would think at a certain point, I I know for a fact they've given Injustice Gods Among Us away for free before. Oh, um, for sure. For sure. And I just, yeah, I, <clears throat> I don't know how they, they keep this up, but I also don't know how they get <laughs> rid of it. So, because <laughs> if they get rid of it, people are going to get pissed. And I, yeah, I don't know kind of a a rock and a hard place right there for them for sure i mean they're gonna be down to like bubble bobble every month there'll be like a couple versions of bubble bobble it'll be terrifying <laughs> i don't know what else they're gonna offer at this point i i mean i guess they could get well i mean i guess they could start going through like in a year or two some xbox one you know or xbox series x games i guess <laughs> But I don't really understand how they could continue offering something on the scale of like what PlayStation might offer. Not that this, I, like, do I think that this month for PlayStation is fantastic? 
eh, I think it's okay. I don't think it's amazing. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I don't know much about that Operation Tango. I mean, obviously, it's just releasing, so... Um... I don't know, man. Yeah, I feel like sometimes these games are pretty hit or miss, and I, I, I yeah, <laughs> I just don't know what else to say about it at this point. I mean, it, it's kind of just one of those things, I guess. It's I, I think this era of giving away all these free games and stuff, at least on the Xbox side, is somewhat coming to a close, or at no. least a very, very slow pace. Yeah. Well, hey. Everything has to die, right? <laughs> Sorry to be so dark. Yep. It's inevitable, I guess. <laughs> uh, Xbox has officially announced that they will be holding a joint showcase with Bethesda. They own them. Uh, on June 13th at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. So the show is expected to run 90 minutes, and rumors are saying that there will be five AAA games for the Series X slash S during the event. So, obviously, I mean, what, what do we think on this one, my dude? Like, I mean, it's Halo Infinite, right? A lot of people are speculating Starfield. They don't expect it to launch this year, but in the uh, in the release or the announcement for this, Xbox had a uh, their whole like you know logo and everything, and in the back there's a world, and it's the same world that was used on um, on Starfield promotional uh, material before. So that's okay. that's one of the guesses granted i still think we're probably next year before we see that game um yeah i don't know i i don't want to make too many speculations i gotta i gotta hold my cards close because we're gonna have a huge uh absolutely batshit insane episode where pre we have the wa yeah pre three <laughs> with uh wasd so i can't get too carried away here for sure and we gotta make bets for sure with wsd oh yeah stupid bets for sure <laughs> okay somebody's no, got to do something yeah just absolutely dumb out of this i mean i'm excited for this um i'm curious to see where halo infinite's gonna go um will it be delayed yet again who knows uh will it be uh shown off where the characters don't look like they're made of play-doh i don't know we'll have to see i hope it's decent um but uh you know i mean there's been a lot of hype for stuff and then we've been let down before like big time on things so we'll have to see how this one uh, cuts out yeah so uh the upcoming pokemon games finally were given release dates hey hey we pokemon. expected <laughs> yeah i wasn't expecting it this week necessarily but here it is uh so pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl are set to launch november 19th 2021 and pokemon legends arceus will release on january 28th 2022 i really hope i said that pokemon's name right so somebody doesn't come Dude, at you don't worry there's dumb pokemon you and i have both i have talked about this what was i it? have it wasn't no Mankey. Stay, what was like, the other one that we always made fun oh, of god i don't know there's a there's a lot of really dumb pokemon <laughs> there are there are really, and really bad pokemon. names so are you excited uh, for this yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely pick up the uh, the remakes, uh, and I think I'll. I I have two kids, so I, I'm going to end up buying both of these games, and uh, I'll probably play through them myself. I mean, I, I played through, I played through uh, Sword, but I don't know. I this this franchise, I it, it's kind of one of those weird things where I I love it from nostalgia purposes. And then once I start playing it, I'm just kind of there and along for the ride, and I'll probably get sick of it. I am excited to see what that Pokemon Legends game actually is, though, and what the gameplay is going to be, because it seems like it's going to be almost in the the um, Gale of Darkness realm from the, the GameCube. May I introduce to you Bidoof? Bidoof, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> Badoof. How would you say a, a flock of Badoofs? A flock of Badoofs? Uh, maybe it's kind of like crows, where it's like a a murder of Badoofs. A murder of Badoofs. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would like to uh, think it is. That's perfect. I mean, they look murderous. Oh, absolutely. God, they chew Look at through whatever. I mean, that thing will just chew through your, you know, tibula. 
<laughs> with no remorse. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, moving yeah. on, uh, we've got some Ubisoft rumors uh, and supposed leaks, um, but you got to take it with a grain of salt, uh, especially this close to E3. Everyone's just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks, my man. So uh, oh, Skull yeah. and Bones has uh, restarted development and will not launch this year and likely not in 2022 either. Skull and Bones, by the way, uh, <laughs> I feel like we have a weekly update on that. It seems to go back and forth. Um and uh, last week yeah. they pushed it back and then this week they just straight up restarted development. It's fan it it's not fantastic. It's not good, but it's kind of entertaining to watch from the outside in some regard. Do you think they're doing it on purpose? I don't think it's ever going to come <laughs> out. <laughs> the Illuminati <laughs> thing worked perfectly. <laughs> God, I love it. You don't think it's ever come out? If it does, it is going to get the most mediocre, like, fan hype around this at as possible. It's just not going to do well. I don't think anyone has any faith in this game at this point. Oh, well. I don't know how you could. <clears throat> Rider Republic, something that you and I are both excited about, should be very close to release after E3, is what the rumor is as well. Uh, and there seems to be a lot of concern over high amounts of microtransactions, despite being a full-price game. Something you and I have also been afraid of <laughs> up to yeah. the upcoming release of this title. Um, That's yeah, and we actually kind of dug into that a little bit. It sounds like there's going to be a, yeah, a battle week. pass, and was it last week or the week before? I I don't, I don't know. know. They run together, but it was at, part of the skull and bones point, update. Yeah, <laughs> at some point we dug into that, and yeah. uh, I. I really want that game to be good, but I am deeply concerned about the amount of microtransactions that there probably are going to be in there. Yeah, and then uh, Rainbow Six Parasite is expected to launch later this year, and this is believed to be a free-to-play game uh, from them. Um, I don't... You think doing a game about a parasite is the best action probably, after everything? Probably not at the moment, no. As it looks like you have a scientific diagram of amoeba in the background. <laughs> oh, this? <laughs> yeah. I you like it. You have a lamp, man. Fair enough. But it's my TV instead. <laughs> you know, it's just <laughs> something. Lava it's lamp just when something, you can buy a TV instead. <laughs> it's just something back there. Dude, lava lamps get hot. Are you fucking kidding me? We want to light my this room on true. fire? I need yeah, like my- 40 lava lamps to produce the lumens that this is doing right now. My OG Xbox power brick gets really hot, too, and I'm concerned it's going to burn my house down one day. (laughs) It's Uh, fine. (laughs) uh, And uh, Ubisoft Plus is also rumored to be coming to consoles later this year as well. Which is cool. Yeah, but absolutely missed. I totally misread that at first and read it as Xbox Game Pass somehow. (laughs) I was like, holy (laughs) shit. (laughs) Why would I buy anything else? Um, Right. This is cool, but like... This can't be all of E3 for Ubisoft, right? No, I don't. And I don't even think this really was but all of E3. I mean, maybe. I guess I... They, I mean, we're going to see Just Dance. What else do Someone's they have in the say works? a couple of swear words on stage to be cool when they first oh, come yeah, out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're going to have a panda absolutely. costume. Uh-huh. There's going to be something uh-huh. with the rabbits. Yeah. Yeah, you would think at this point. Or, I mean, what are we about due for from Ubisoft? Skull and Bones. God. <laughs> I mean, um, Riders Republic was supposed to be out already. Yeah. Right? I am imagine I right on that, that or am I wrong on that? Yeah, it was originally supposed to release on like February 12th, okay. I think. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, so I mean, that, that should have already been out. I mean, maybe a DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Uh, yeah, they just released one. Like last week or the week before, Are they're gonna announce so another. Assassin's they might Creed? announce another one. Um, they may announce just like a teaser trailer for another Assassin's Creed, but I don't. I think they've been doing the like two year release cycle for those now. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Again, I don't want to get too much into it. We got we got to take bets. That's fair. We we gotta make this into a, a gamble for sure for our, for our buddy Nick who loves to gamble. <laughs> Good God! On questionable 
gambling sites <laughs> or not gambling sites, gambling slot machines. <laughs> oh Jesus. Um yeah, interesting. Uh so Borderlands 3 is set to get crossplay. Well, Kind of. Uh, according to Randy Pitchford on Twitter, good news or bad news first? Good news, an update for Borderlands 3 has been prepared to release that includes full crossplay support across all platforms. Bad news, for certification, we have been required by the publisher to remove crossplay support for PlayStation consoles. Other bad for... news, I left my USB full of porn at another medieval time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh shit i will never I, forget I that story when we had to tell that on this show i mean that anytime was... randy pitchford comes up all i can think of is you offering to joust him and him at a medieval time born at medieval time um and just for clarification here because i saw a bunch of people on twitter get all sorts of butt hurt and start blaming sony no way. sony is not the publisher of borderlands 3 they are not the reason that this is not for certification. Just to clarify for those of you that didn't read the full paragraph and just, just saw, saw Sony it's not going to be on oh PlayStation. Oh, my God. Right. Shame um, on them. This has everything to do with 2K. So there it is. Congrats. Kinda sucks. You played yourself. I, it, it's a weird thing to have, and I, I imagine it's still probably – has some version of coming down from PlayStation. Otherwise, it wouldn't be soloed out to PlayStation on this. Right. Um, but it is what it is. It, it kind of sucks to see, especially because I thought we were getting to the point where, you know, cross-play should kind of be about everywhere. Um, but oh, and shame on, on you for most games that. coming out, right? Yeah. Shame on you. Shame on me. Well, Brody, we got a sweet look at the Unreal Engine 5, my guy. And uh, it looks absolutely incredible, dude. Oh, it's stunning. It's insane. Um, so there isn't a lot of new information that came with this announcement. Um, there's a good portion of what engine, uh, sorry, what the new engine is capable of was showcased last year. But the Unreal Engine 5 Early Access version is now available for download uh, and will come with a sample project called Valley of the Ancient. And the full release is slated for early 2022. And the things that they were able to do in this were just like absolutely insane dude i mean like it's it's like look at that look how beautiful that is yeah it's it's i mean that look at that what they've done (laughs) that's stupid (laughs) would you just look at it look at it would you just look at it i mean rocks man rocks (laughs) rocks look at those rocks man yeah it's pretty incredible this um I mean, Unreal Engine 5 is just gorgeous, and it's going to make just the most incredible-looking games we've ever seen. I am so excited to see what they do with this and and how developers use it, especially some of these developers that are already making gorgeous games on Unreal Engine 4. I mean, just... uh, it's insane, and I'm so excited to see how you know graphics turn up. And I'm usually not a huge like graphics person, but uh, it's hard to deny what they're doing with Unreal Engine Five. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I mean, it's it's a powerhouse for sure. Yeah. Uh, so Valve is reportedly working on a handheld Steam console. The console is currently being referred to by Steam Pal, which is not a great name, and I hope that is not the name they stick with. And was mentioned in the stream cl- or the Steam client code tied to the prototype controller being called Neptune. Uh, so supposedly, this console will be a Linux-based PC that features a touchscreen and gamepad, not too unlike what the Switch Lite has. And the portable console may be also be able to connect to monitors. Uh, via some form of USB-C type connection. Um, again, 100% is this rumors. Gonna, is this going to huh? play off of like Steambox as well, you think? Uh, it might, yeah. I, I would like imagine it's... through over to your Steam Pal? You know they're going to yeah, call it Steam Pal. God, I hope not. Um, Dude. Yeah, like the, the Steam Link stuff going on. Um, I think I would imagine it would. I, I don't see why not. Uh, I think this is cool. I mean, we've seen a couple of them. I think AMD made one. There's a couple of Kickstarters that are similar. And, Nvidia um, made one. A NVIDIA made one. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, so 
it's not too surprising to see Steam kind of come out with their own, and if the integration is actually done well and it, it works but as good as you could expect, I would imagine this is going to do exceptionally well, but I also think it's going to be very pricey. I would... I would wager that this is going to be in the thousand uh, dollar range, based on some of the other ones that I've seen that are similar. Hmm. I don't know if there's room for something like this. I think there's room for something like this. I. It's weird because where the, would this fit the Nvidia... into your, to like your daily? gaming where would this fit into like your systems um see i i don't think there's room for this for me personally because i play a lot of my switch but um for people that are pc players it might be nice to have that handheld option Mm -hmm. um i i don't know i think it is kind of a weird market like amd released theirs and intel released theirs and it nobody really paid any attention to it i mean we never even covered it no um no we didn't it, because it, it just doesn't really get get that much attention now if your top client for video games your your top storefront for games on pc is now selling one now it is a little bit more enticing i would think personally no. Um, but it, it, it all falls down to how the integration is and where the price point falls and it, there's a, there's quite a bit of factors that really are gonna kind of play a part in whether this does well or not. But it, just, I think it's a cool I, concept. I, I think it's a cool concept. I just I hope Steam can support it properly. Like I just I don't yeah. know the Steam Store. It's good. It's got a lot of problems though, and there's a lot of weird games. I mean, you want to be having like a game like, you know, Waifu Simulator on your Steam Pal. <laughs> well, you're sitting there on the couch. I mean, you go right ahead, but, you know, whatever. Oh, you know, somebody 100% oh, would. Oh, 100%. Playing hentai games on the bus or the fucking train. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, absolutely. Good God. Um, moving on, uh, we got a incredible, and I mean, just like absolutely incredible look at uh horizon forbidden west um through the uh, playstation state of play i could not believe the graphics in this game bro i was like holy shit so beautiful (laughs) when when it It looks so good when it opened up i was like what (laughs) it was i mean look at this this is incredible right i mean obviously the other version podcast people are probably like what the hell you know, what am I looking at? You can't yeah. see anything. You're hearing it. Um, but, I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. So, we got roughly 14 minutes of gameplay on this. And we're not going to go into too in-depth about all the new gadgets, story beats, enemies, and, and machines on this one. Uh, so there's a lot uh, of people that would like to go into this game uh, blind. Uh, but, unfortunately, no release date was given um, with this title. Yeah. I, maybe we'll hear more at E3. Uh, as, you know, part of this movie was a hype. I don't know. Um, I'm assuming just because of COVID and the teams being remote and stuff that... Um, you know, it, it broke things up and it made it, you know, difficult to give any sort of a release date. So, yeah, I, I would imagine whenever their next state of play is, we might get a release date and it might launch fairly soon after that release date. A lot of these, uh, the way PlayStation has actually been doing it, I saw somebody made a chart and unfortunately I didn't save it and I don't know who made it, but it was basically looking at when something was announced or when it got its own dedicated state of play. I mean, uh, not announced, obviously. Uh, Forbidden West has been announced for a while. Uh, but once something got its own dedicated state of play, the median time ends up being like a couple months. I think it shook down to like two months after that. So granted, again, very, very different like landscape here to some extent. But I, I would think we'll see this before the end of the year. I hope. God, I, I mean, hope so. It, I, I mean, I'm I just cannot really, get over how freaking beautiful it is. It's oh, it's stupid. So so nice looking. Look at I, that water. <laughs> Look at those rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh. mean, even when she there's again, a money shot spoil. when looking at the Golden Gate. Yeah. Oh my god. Or when she's swimming underwater, each yeah. individual braid is perfectly animated. I mean. It, 
this game, I I still have not beat the first one. I know it's it's terrible. I plan to before this game comes out, and it's probably gonna have to move up my list here because this trailer is just an absolute hype machine. And it's not even a trailer. It was it was 14 minutes of pure gameplay from this, it's actually captured on a PS5. Beautiful. It's it just looks so so fucking good and i cannot wait for this game <laughs> <laughs> oh my god man i'm so excited for that. like you ride a fucking dino yeah and the new dinos look cool the new gadgets look cool again i won't spoil anything here because i i, I imagine there's a ton of people that want to go entirely blind into this and and that involves not being spoiled on things by like trailers or or whatever but i mean that new dinosaur uh, that they show, or the new mech, um, just, or machine, sorry, uh, just absolutely one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> well, and it sounds cheesy. Like, I know they said it before. It's like, oh, you can't distinguish the cutscenes from the gameplay. I mean, this is next level, bro. I mean, this is, you cannot tell the damn difference at all. Between no, you really game can't. Play. I mean, look at this. What is it? A mammoth? Yeah. This is a fucking mammoth? A mastodon? You know? I mean, this is insane. This is crazy right. stuff, man. This is crazy stuff. Anyways, we gotta get off that, but yeah. It's it's yeah, it's I, absolutely I could gorgeous. Sit there and watch that 14 minutes over and over again. It's just the the, the details incredible. Um, but yeah, really excited. Anyway, uh Dragon Quest 35th anniversary announcements. So there was a little event for the Dragon's Quest 35th anniversary, and we've got a look at, uh, looks like six different announcements. So Dragon Quest 12 was uh, announced, which is awesome because that series is really starting to pick up some traction here in the West. Um, and this is going to be called the Flames of Fate. This was a very, very short teaser trailer that showed a dr pretty much nothing. The game is going to be directed towards adults and will feature traditional turn-based battles, but with some changes to freshen up those systems. Uh, this will release simultaneously worldwide, but platforms uh, and actual release date have not been revealed yet. Dragon Quest III is also getting a remake, and we got a full trailer for this. This will feature a new HD 2D art style, which is pretty similar to that of Octopath Traveler. And, again, no platforms or release date for this. Dragon Quest Treasures is described as an RPG treasure hunting adventure that will star the characters from Dragon Quest XI, acting as kind of a prequel to, to Dragon Quest XI. And this will release simultaneously worldwide. Dragon Quest X is getting a new expansion. This is only going to launch in Japan, because that's the only place you can play Dragon Quest X without getting creative and some fan translations. Uh, but this will allow players to experience um, the game and, and a new expansion. I started reading on the wrong line. Dragon Quest X Offline. So this is, um, as as the new game is, or as regular X is an MMO, this will be an offline version of it that is also going to have its own art style. It's like a chibi-like art style. And obviously it's offline, so you can play it and just experience that story. We also got some word about a mobile game coming called Dragon Quest Keshi Keshi. This will be a free-to-play mobile puzzle game and will release for both iOS and Android. What's wild to me is the remake. I mean, it's very Octopath Traveler. Oh, yeah. It looks gorgeous, though. I mean, they've done a, a great, great job. It looks absolutely fantastic. I mean... And I mean, to do that, you're practically remaking the entire like it is a proper remake you yeah. you weren't usually using any assets or anything like that i mean it's from the ground up aside from your story beats and everything but yeah no i mean it, it's it's incredible uh what they're able to do with that i think it's going to bring more people into the franchise yeah i for agree sure. um and i dragon quest 11 has done exceptionally well for mm -hmm. them and I, I had never played a Dragon Quest game before eleven and and so now I, I picked up eleven. I picked up I think one on the Switch when they kind of released that, uh, which is it was like six bucks or something like that, but it was a real cool old school RPG. 
Um, I, I'm so happy to see this series doing well because it's they just make incredible JRPGs, and I'm I'm here for it. And it's my my franchise. I'm, I'm here for or it. my uh, my genre for sure. Yeah. Well, hey, it wouldn't be E3 with more rumors. Um, and this time we've got a uh, new Nintendo Switch rumor uh, circulating yet again. So the rumors are back, and the new Switch is set to replace the current 299 version, and supposedly will, will be revealed prior uh, to E3. Uh, the re- release date for this update system is uh, rumored to be releasing this fall in September or October. Um, obviously, uh, supply chain issues. I'm sure they'll have issues. So this one, these. this this leaks a little bit different. Um, typically, we'll see it from like a, a just a, a leaker on Twitter or, or fucking 4chan or wherever. Um, this time, I actually heard it first from like Bloomberg. Bloomberg yeah. was heavily reporting on Which it. Did you know what that means? Who wrote that one? Uh, it wasn't. It was somebody else. Really? It wasn't. That who we should not speak not your best friend. <laughs> the grape eater? Yeah, the grape eater. Um, <laughs> but uh, reading through the article, it was kind of weird because they're like, well, the Switch needs to do this in order to keep up. The Switch has been the best-selling console for 29 months in a row. What are you talking about? Did you even read anything about the Switch before you wrote this article? Um, So take it worth a grain of salt because even though it came from a major publication, the, the author clearly did not do their homework. So My favorite thing, too, is when they start going on concepts and you're like, okay, what is this? You know, like, yeah, we're yeah. going to get a bigger screen. Okay, it's going to be a, you know, Switch Lite with a bigger screen. Um, well, I guess it has disconnects right here, actually, on either side of it. And then there's, like, these ones, right, where it's like, oh, man, my the inside of my hands really hurt from touching my, my Switch <laughs> as is. Thank God they're going to come with rounded corner uh, Joy-Cons, right. which, I mean, they could at any moment if they wanted to. Because as long as this is a vertical strip, you know, that, that aligns and locks in with the rest of the unit, you could essentially make any Joy-Con. You can make a Joy-Con Pro, right, that has like a strap on it or something like that that you can hold on to it better with. But I don't know. I feel like it's probably just going to be a product update, like a 1080p screen on the front of it, a better battery, might be a little bit thinner, probably better materials. Yeah, and for everybody that's been, you know, talking about this the Switch Pro that's supposedly coming, um, <clears throat> I don't think this is it. I think this is going to be a minor, or not minor, but a, a relatively minor upgrade to the normal version because it is supposed to be phasing it out, which we are have already seen that once where they put a better battery, um, and I think a... Uh, I can't remember what the other change is that they made to, to that version from... 2019 but i i don't think this is going to be the switch pro that everybody expects it to be i think this is no. just going to be like you said it's potentially a 1080 screen and i mean you know, they're just going to call it what some... new nintendo switch probably you know i, I mean which is screen. odd to me though even because the switch has been selling very well typically when they've done a new like a new um 3ds for example it wasn't until the sales would kind of slowly start to taper down and then and you would start to see sales on the 3DS and then they would release the new 3DS and it would take over that prior price point and mm-hmm. now the old 3DS has a lower price point. So it was like the cycling system yeah, yeah, yeah. of getting you know a still a top of the line console and then moving the other ones down to where you could still sell them just not for as much. Whereas in this case, I it, it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing that. It seems like they're mm-hmm. going to be essentially phasing uh, the, the old out. switch yeah. out. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing too, right? Is based on sales numbers, I doubt we're going to see um, a light. Yeah, probably. I think not. those are done. Which was odd to us because I I mean it appeals to me. I don't have one. I have a just a regular switch, but it appeals to me with the with the light, but. I get, again, I, when we reviewed I, the sales numbers, we were like, wow, we, you know, we couldn't believe it, um, how, I think how little the, they had been purchased. I think the problem with that, because um, I, I love my Switch Lite. I, I play the absolute hell out of my Switch Lite, and that's the only way I've played Monster Hunter Rise. I have not mm-hmm. played it on the TV at all. Um, for me, the I, it makes sense that it doesn't sell as well, because if you're going to drop some cash on a console... 
um it it makes sense to buy the regular switch especially if you don't have other systems right and granted i have other systems so i don't need that plus i have the regular switch i would still regular or have my regular switch and have my switch light for me personally because it would be kind of a pain if you wanted to play with anyone else Mm -hmm. but this is just my own personal switch that I play on. So it, it works and I understand why it may not sell nearly as well. And you look back at the 3DS at the same time, there were other home consoles out for the, for mm-hmm. Nintendo. So it, it, it's kind of a weird, like give and take. And I'm almost a little bit surprised it's even sold as well as it has, because it is kind of a niche market to some mm-hmm. extent where it is going to be basically somebody's second switch. So I could see Total and Nintendo were out here and they have like a camera on the front and a camera on the back. And, uh, you know, it turns into like you can use Discord or something with it or you could use some other things with it or you can do like a Nintendo live chat or... Maybe they'll finally get rid of the uh, Nintendo app you have to use to chat on certain games. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I, I would love to think that there would be an update for something like that, but once they usually come up with a service, that that's it. There's right. not really updates to their service. <laughs> it's, it's just kind of like, hey, here you go. Like, I mean, even if you look at the... Uh, Nintendo Switch uh, online uh, with all the retro games. I mean, they're okay, but a lot of them on there are pretty... Like, I mean, you never touch them. Right, right. You know? So I, and I I actually was listening to a podcast the other day where they were talking about that. And, you know, I, I almost feel guilty for not playing them because there's a lot of great games there, there that I ones. love. And I just never get into them i don't i i never even think about it and i think some of that is how the switch is actually laid out where it's like you have your row of most recently played games and everything else just goes essentially in in the dumpster and you don't see it again until you have to go find one specific game it would be nice to be able to almost like a game pass like pop it out of that application and then it would be its own square like the game that you like say earthbound right made it to it yeah. You take Earthbound and pop it out as a separate square. Oh yeah, that'd be great. And then also you know, they need to put Earthbound to in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, the Earthbound pillow sitting right here. I'm stoked. Yeah. Uh, so Monster Hunter had a digital event. Um, I'll keep this somewhat short because not everybody's a Monster Hunter fan, but I am, and that's all that matters, and I wrote the fucking show notes. So, <laughs> Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. They showed off a new trailer with new monsters. Uh, also showed off an in-depth look at how the returning right of channeling mechanic will work in Stories 2. And I will be picking this game up as well, because my kids will enjoy this, and I will probably enjoy it too. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise is getting an update, which is... 3.0 now this adds two new monsters the crimson glow valstrax which is a new version of a monster that is from monster hunter generations ultimate and they are also adding apex Zenogre. so this may include a couple more monsters as well as the previous update didn't announce uh one of the monsters that kind of snuck in there and then it was just kind of a surprise so there could be some extra stuff hidden in there that they didn't talk about This also adds a new ending to the main story, which not a whole lot is known about it at the moment, but it will feature two Elder Dragons, Ibushi and Narwa. There will be a new DLC, Hunter, and I say will be. uh, This is actually already out. It released today on recording of this episode, which is uh, the 27th. Had to find my calendar here. Um, So there is new DLC, which features Hunter cosmetics, such as uh, two new Hunter voices, which are Iori and Yamagi, uh, a noble short hairstyle, a delicate beauty hairstyle, cheek tusk face paint, Stitches face paint, feline ears, layered armor, feline tail, layered armor, canine or K- canine mask, layered armor, and can ye can can, can how would you say that? Bro, I don't, don't know. even. Don't even. <laughs> I have no clue how <laughs> don't to be say putting it. me on the spot like that. <laughs> the hell? I myself in the spot by having I mean, it in here. Canine. It's a play on canine, canine, but I would just say canine. Maybe it's just canine, canine? with a Y. I don't know. Maybe I don't too much into it. It's throwing throwing me off. Uh, canine layered armor. 
<laughs> I read feline, right? I don't know what's going on. Um, it also features some stickers, post sets, and uh, background music, which is a special sticker set two, hide post set using the wall post set, Monster Hunter series bases, background music, and monster music dance version uh, b- background music. Uh, some buddy cosmetics, which is the feline mask, the canine mask out on the hunt, and a little wing, dr- wing and drake, which the last two are Kahoot outfits. They also announced some Capcom crossovers. So the first Capcom event will kick off in mid June and will allow you to earn a Monster Hunter themed or Monster Hunter Stories themed Palico armor. There are also two more Capcom crossovers that are announced, and these are going to take place at the end of July and the other one at the end of August. And 3.1 is planned for the end of June and will bring with it more DLC and event quests. So cool. I, yeah. I'm happy to see this game being heavily supported, and I'm not even to the point where I can touch most of this, so it's fine. <laughs> Brody, over 18 months ago, a virus plagued the earth, bringing with it mounds of terrible things, right? I mean, we had death. We had, um, you know, what what could be known as a recession, you know, a mild, mild recession. Uh, We've since had inflation, supply chain issues. The world was a mess. It was a wreck. Mm -hmm. We looked for a sign of hope after 18 months. We did that. We Mm -hmm. made a vaccine. I was I introduced oh, to just you. Just to clarify, I was only laughing because I know what he's getting ready to say. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the pandemic. I'm laughing at what's coming next. I introduced to you the newest pandemic. <laughs> Multiple facets of entertainment, goods, and services under the Sonic IP. <laughs> this is a huge problem. <laughs> We had what was called like how stupid this looks. It brings me <laughs> it brings me so much joy as I was typing up all this. Oh. I was typing up the Sonic thing and I had to rearrange I'm, all of the show notes to make sure I mean, you got are the you Sonic this news. Shit? <laughs> He's in the Olympic Games. Anyways, I'll get on with this. So we had something called a Sonic a Sonic Central, um, which like a Nintendo Direct um just talks about you know nintendo well this just just talks about sonic unfortunately (laughs) so um sonic anniversary stream it's the 30th anniversary of uh you know when the gates of hell opened up and this blue (laughs) bastard ascended from it um (laughs) we 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 uh we got a lot of stuff. So we got a musical performance. Uh, this is taking place on uh, Sonic's birthday of all things. Um, you know, which is great. Love that. Um, so that's June twenty third, and it can be watched for free. Um, it's like a Philharmonic Orchestra playing Sonic stuff, and then a DJ set as well as electric guitar. Uh, so it'll feature classic rock and electronic music as well. Um, and there'll be a sneak peek shown off during the Summer Games Fest as well for it um which is great um then we went on to something with uh, free in-game items uh there's olympics they might not be happening i hope this also doesn't happen as well um but we're (laughs) gonna be getting (laughs) the ability to uh wear a sonic costume as your avatar in the tokyo 2020 official Olympics game, Olympic Games, not to be confused with the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Um, and this is like the full mascot suit. This is like you went on Hollywood Boulevard and you saw Sonic. And now he's going to be <laughs> competing professionally with the world's best athletes in a game that not many people will probably play. Um, I don't know many people. Maybe we'll have to pick this game up and play it. Um, and then we got him. Uh, Only something- if I could be Sonic. Yeah, and Too then, bad you can't be Knuckles or something. Yeah, well, hey, you can be Knuckles in Two Point Hospital. I'm glad you always wanted that. Uh, you can be, you can have the Sonic costumes just for your staff members, and these will be available uh, July 30th. Again, um, they are like the human versions of them, which is terrifying. <laughs> um, and you get Sonic, <laughs> Knuckles, and Tails. 
<laughs> Absolutely. And the fact that Sonic is going to be, uh, or sorry, well, yeah, technically in, in Lost Judgment, so there'll be a playable version of Sonic um, within the arcade, the Sonic the Fighters. Um, this will be available September 24th inside of the game Lost Judgment. Um, I hope you're colorblind because we got Sonic Colors Ultimate. Um, and this is uh, an intergalactic adventure that will feature all new worlds and power-ups. Um, originally released in 2010. That's 11 years ago if anyone's counting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, this will be available <laughs> September 7th. Pre-orders will get you a baby Sonic keychain from the movie <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. And they'll also have other in-game content. The deluxe version will get you early access, exclusive music, gold and silver wearables, exclusive um. player icons, the Sonic movie Boost, which has yet to be defined to us what that is. Um, they had Roger Craig Smith, God bless him. Um, as a guest spot, he's on returning there. as the voice of Sonic. Yeah, by he's the way. returning. Um, you know, just like the variants of COVID, there's going to be a second Sonic film. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> so fucking stupid like on the screen right now it's just perfect there's you and me being idiots in the corner and there's this little baby sonic shaking how stupid is this anyways roger craig smith was uh was on there and then um he had the the great um the the, the astute ability and astute honor of announcing the release of sonic colors rise of the wisps uh, this is a two uh, two part short form animation, um, and they uh, also uh, showed a preview of the animation. Uh, episode one is coming this summer. Um, did we figure out where the fuck you can watch it? <laughs> where is it? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the whole fucking thing. Don't know. Uh, I did too. I did too. I just didn't retain any of it because I didn't want to. Oh my god! There's still more, folks. I mean, it goes on. So it was it was rapid fire. There was like eight things announced in the first five minutes. It was just a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh my god. Um, the, look, the Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisps. It looks cool. I mean, it, it looks like the. I mean, my nieces watch it, but it looks like the My Little Pony. And I have to say my nieces watch it because, unfortunately, there's grown men that watch My Little Pony on the internet. I don't want to be affiliated with them, unfortunately. Um, then we got uh, a look at Sonic Origins, <laughs> <laughs> which is an upcoming uh, compilation uh, set to release next year. And uh, will include added content and features. So that's cool. I mean, bring back the retro stuff. I get it. Neat. Uh, we also got platform expansions. And so Sonic Team Racing and Sonic Mania are now available on Amazon Luna, which I here's I didn't know that launched. Um no. <laughs> oh, it hasn't launched? Oh. <laughs> okay. You just <laughs> You know as little as me when it comes to Luna. I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Anyways. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Okay, so and then Sonic Team Racing, Sonic Mania, and Sonic Forces will be added to PlayStation Now on June 1st. When it comes to mobile gaming, <clears throat> get ready. Sonic Dash um, will have a special pirate-themed event starting this May, not to be confused with Skull and Bones. Sonic Forces uh, will be adding Super Sonic as an ability to make you invincible and also adding a limited-time event that allows you to make private races with friends. Uh, both games will be getting a Werehog character around Halloween. Uh, and... <laughs> 
I have specifically looked up where this Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisp thing is, and I can't find where it's at, so there's that. <laughs> Fucking new grounds, I don't know. Um, sorry, there's <coughs> Sonic Racing on Apple Arcade is going to have different additions as well. You're going to get uh, to be a classic character. Which they didn't news, explain. They just news said classic flash, character. Newsflash, it's Sonic. You're going to get a classic <laughs> vehicle. Sonic. Yeah, you're going to get How a, is Sonic not in Sonic Racing? Yeah, What is I know. going on? Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a classic vehicle in a classic zone with new music. Um, then we got a look at Sonic Prime, which I actually think this is pretty cool because of the creators. But it's from the creators of Ben 10 and Big Hero 6. We, we heard from Joe Kelly uh, on a Zoom call. Um, and uh, this will be a 24-episode show releasing on Netflix in uh, 2022. Um, I think that's neat. I miss I miss Sonic cartoons, you know. I'm pretty sure it will probably be watched in my household. I imagine the kids will watch it at some point. Well, you remember what, like, you know, WB Kids, and you got to yeah. see Sonic. Oh, absolutely. You know, got to go fast. Sonic, the... <laughs> there's so many diehard sonic fans out there and they have to hate us at this point oh but just you fucking wait because nothing is a legitimate ip until you have the following products that you can sell so you got 30th anniversary products much like mario <clears throat> and uh you know luigi had a incredible amount of, of stuff that you could buy and just Nintendo stuff in general for their anniversary. So you can get a giant Eggman robot playset from Jack Specific. So that's cool. That that's that's neat. Um, hey, how about a chain <laughs> by King Ice? <laughs> Is this what you want for your birthday? You can get Shadow, <laughs> Knuckles, Tails, or Sonic. My birthday pass. Thank fucking God. Uh, I haven't given you your gift yet. There's how about time. how about a play on words for the Encyclopedia? Made by Dark Horse, which is kind of like, you know, everything about Sonic that you want to know about. Uh, and then you can also buy silver and gold coins from uh, AppMax. Um, and uh, that's neat. And then uh, we had a one more thing moment. Um, and uh, it's just, I do, hey, spoiler, new Sonic game coming. <laughs> Which had some bizarre and, logo in it. And, and as Brody put in the show is. notes, as Brody put in the show notes, some new Sonic game is coming in 2022 and the trailer didn't tell me a goddamn thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> the confusion after this of people being like, oh, what, what the hell was that? <laughs> I mean, uh, it is odd. I mean, this, this, this was what it was. It, it's it's oh, him yeah. running through. It says the Sonic team, and then it just it, it's you know above a forest, and then there's I, I I mean was was there or was there not something in the past that was a um. You're asking the wrong guy. So, was there a Sonic Origins? Uh, I mean, you're know. asking the wrong guy, and the wrong guy is talking right now about this are you saying you're not the guy i am not the guy (laughs) i feel like there was i don't know what that is what i I don't know i mean clearly it's about something some ancient lost world um but i didn't i don't know (sighs) ancient sonic is there something that would go to that on google oh no it's fan art Ooh, tread easily, my friend. <laughs> tread I'm lightly. I'm out, I'm gonna, out, I'm out. You're going to end up in a weird um, place. So, yeah. Um, uh, how many Sonic... Oh, someone says it looks like it says up. Well, they're going to get their asses sued by Disney. I don't... I don't... I mean... There's so many Sonic games. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? What? Nine hours ago, this just broke. Sonic the Hedgehog is coming to Minecraft. What? This is officially a pandemic. (laughs) Jesus Christ. 
Why are there so many Sonic games? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm I'm scared, bro. This is not good. Um yeah, I, I mean, you know, hey, there's some cool stuff in there. The chains, I don't get it. Oh, I'm buying you a Sonic chain. A hundred percent. No, please do not. Please, please do not. Let's see if I can pre order it now. Oh my God. <laughs> That's straight up designer. It, supposedly. How expensive is it? <laughs> he has an Xbox collection. Huh. Uh it looks like most of theirs range from like eighty to a hundred and twenty dollars. <throat> so if you got me that and you got me two of them, would I be two chains? <laughs> <laughs> On on King Ice's website, they have collabs with Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Run DMC, Death Row Records, MTV, Notorious B.I.G., PlayStation, Xbox, Scarface, Rick and Morty, and Ali, Choppa, Powerpuff Girls, and Nickelodeon. (laughs) They're not that expensive. No. The, 90 the bucks for the Xbox logo? What's the PlayStation one? We should get those. 40. And then we should say that we're huge Xbox fans. <laughs> big, big Mario fan. We're the Sonic one. You can get grills. Oh, Sonic grills? Yeah. No, not Sonic grills. Just grills. Oh. Uh, that's a bummer. I mean, it's pretty neat, I guess. Yeah. Like, there's... You know, you want a Sonic chain? That's kind of cool, I guess. Probably not going to be my forte. If I wore that, someone would probably <laughs> probably kick my ass or <laughs> think I'm weird. <laughs> but, um, oh, God. Nick just wrote in the chat, two fast chains. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, God. 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 The Encyclopedia would be kind of neat to... Uh, for for a collector to own, I guess, and being made by Dark Horse, that's that's yeah, cool. that they'll do really a good cool. job on that. Yeah, they do a great job on that. So, uh, I mean, th- thoughts on the Sonic Central? I mean, does this mean that we're all going to get, or is it? I mean, I hope this doesn't mean we're going to get a Sonic Central every quarter because I'm just I'm not going to fucking read it. I'm not. This will be the one and only time we will report on the Sonic Central, and that's just because it was an anniversary. I'm not putting myself through this every time. <laughs> Oh my god, bro! I couldn't believe I couldn't believe the Tokyo thing. Yeah, that was so off-putting. We were talking about it before the show. It was very, very weird. It's crazy. They just they just started showing it. Didn't yeah, say you're anything like, Holy about shit. it. I, I was and like, I don't think after, the Olympics even started yet. Yeah, I mean, they could and be canceled. They just kind of they just kind of finally said <clears throat> what was going on. I didn't even know they were making a Tony or Tokyo twenty twenty one. I didn't game. either. I mean, well, no, because it's a Tokyo 2020 if you looked at the yeah, logo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't even rename it. It's just, <laughs> I have high hopes for that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw in our chat, but Nick said he's going to play that absolutely obliterated with us sometime. What? The Tokyo 2020 game. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not shock put as Sonic. <laughs> Can't wait. It's just going to be fucking sweet. <laughs> Can't god. think of a better time. Oh right? my god. I just I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I mean, I <laughs> I don't know where where's the market for that. Somewhere. It's it's not on Diggity Podcast, I mean, but like, it's somewhere. Like I, I'm I'm flabbergasted that this even happened. <laughs> like how the fuck is it in two point hospital I think that was probably the weirdest part of this entire thing just a very bizarre choice yeah I mean it's a good game just leave it alone you know yeah. like why do you like <laughs> why do we need to throw it in there I don't know but if I could play two point hospital 
dressed as Kratos, that would be pretty cool. I'd be in. <laughs> what about Tails? Tails. Yeah. I'm giving you an ultimatum like that uh, episode of what Family Guy where he's like, yeah, I want like a sweet eagle. How about a Kermit the Frog? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if I could be Kratos, that'd be cool. Yeah, how do you feel about tails? I can only do tails, sorry. <laughs> I can only draw a sweet knuckles. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I feel like uh, you could have done, like, Grey's Anatomy and something like that, and people would have lost their fucking mind or something else. But instead, you know, we... Sonic. And, 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 and... human Sonic. Human yeah. anatomy. Like cosplay Terrifying. Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> scary stuff, man. Scary stuff. What's not scary? Following on Instagram and Twitter. Specifically following us at Diggity Podcast. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also our Twitch as well. We go live every single Thursday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Catch us Eastern. Best time zone in the world. Come fight me. Our podcast is also available on every single podcast platform known to man, God, and Sonic himself. Um, Tell your friends about us. Thank you so much for listening to the show. Thank you so much for also leaving us a review. It helps us out a lot. Uh, Thank you to those who have done that, uh, whether it's thumbing us up on on YouTube uh, or giving us a good star rating on uh, Apple Podcasts. It means a lot. It helps us uh, move forward. Um, You can follow me on... uh, PlayStation. My PSN is Maple Jeff, and you can follow me on Twitter uh, at Jeff James here. You can find me on PlayStation at Luscious Brody, and you can find me on Twitter at Brody Fultz. Uh, and with the rest of that, I mean, you know, just stay safe out there. You know, be careful. Um, it's a lot of Sonic out there, and uh, <laughs> everyone needs to do their part to get through this. Oh my gosh, you know what we forgot at the beginning of the show? What? And we gotta plug it now. We have shirts incoming. Oh shit. <laughs> I totally meant to do it at the beginning of the show and got swept up in what we were doing. Um yeah, we have shirts coming. It's a collab oh. with WASD. Um and it's no it, Sonic on three them. Shirts. Um and the WASD boys will be announcing them, and then we will be uh, piggybacking off of that and announcing them <laughs> ourselves, too. But uh, we're going to let them announce them first because it was our, our good friend Nick's idea to do these shirts, and they're awesome. Um, they're they're a uh, WASD diggity collaboration with uh, E3 um, hints on it as well. Um, so... This is in honor of our our upcoming episode, which will release not next week, but the week after, I believe, maybe? Question yes. mark? Yes, yes, should. And uh, we're going to do a, a really fun, probably entirely off the rails uh, episode. I think we'll stay on the rails, but we'll say a lot of dumb shit just because there'll be like the serious people that are like, well, I think <laughs> you're going to see this in Halo Infinite. We're going to be like, yeah, well, I think you're going to fucking see Sonic. I think you're going to see Sonic. <laughs> 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 you're gonna see sonic in the night in a fallout dlc he's gonna be fucking starfield he's gonna be everywhere this is it man this is what we all wanted this is what we wanted this is what we dreamt of <laughs> i did at least in my nightmares <laughs> but i mean this is what you guys wanted in this world this is what happens when you fucking you know when you play with god man this is what happens <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. We'll see you for the next show next week. Uh, stay tuned. I think um, as as stuff goes on here, um, if there's big breaking updates and stuff like that, I'll probably make some like little videos on the side that I'll update onto YouTube as well. So keep an eye out for those um, just to catch up with stuff because I know that little things are going to come out like before E3 and just stupid rumors are going to pop up and we should let people know about it. So I'm going to try to do that. You can see the sweet amoebas in the background, my amoeba <laughs> lava lamp um, when I do that. And uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much uh, for listening, for watching, and we will see you later. See ya.